Um, but so, you know, we started this year really from scratch. Most of our students haven't had an art class since sixth grade. Um, and so there was a lot of, you know, just a sort of a baseline, it's okay to be creative that we had to, it was a big hurdle for a lot of these kids. Like, let's get back to thinking like an artist or a designer outside the box and that's okay. Um, so really, really simple exercises from the beginning. Um, Everything from, you know, what is a plan, a section, an elevation? It turns out green peppers are a really great object to teach all those things. Um, to, like, color theory. What's a primary color? What's a secondary color? Let's, you know, put them on a colored wheel and start to look at those relationships. Um, shop safety, how to not cut off your fingers. Um, how to measure and lay things out. Most of our students couldn't read a ruler, so we had, did a lot of remediation just on basic, like this is what three quarters means and this is what it looks like on a ruler. Um, so the first project that we did, um, over the course of the year we're doing three projects and they start really small in scale up to this big piece of architecture that we're gonna build. So the first project was sort of a boot camp project and it, was, it wasn't so much about getting the critical thinking firing so much as just getting them comfortable with the tools so that we could start to add the thinking on top of that. Um, have any of you guys heard of the, the game Cornhole? Yes. Okay, so Cornhole is huge in Bertie County and you know, we, we play it all the time. It's, you know, if, for those of you who don't know it, it's like a, this really dumb um, carnival style like beanbag toss game and there's these two boards and they have a hole in each one and you have to toss it and get it in the hole. Um, super lame but like really addicting. So you know we were playing it all summer and you know debating what our first project should be and it turns out a cornhole board is like the perfect thing to teach everything from you know how to how to build something out of wood to you know how to design a graphic and execute it. Um, so, so that was our first project. You know we gave them each you know two sticks of lumber and a a piece cut out from a four by eight piece of plywood and they had to first build this board. Um, and we gave them plans, they had to figure out how to read the plans, how to make the right cuts, um, how and when to use the right tools and how to do that safely. Really, really sort of basic stuff. A lot of it too was, um, this is Alexia, she was terrified of the power drill on the first day. And there's a lot of, I mean the fact that I'm a woman and I know how to you know, use a table saw and I know how to weld is just like, crazy and so for her to see me doing it and then me telling her now you have to do it was that was a huge hurdle to, to overcome just to get them especially the female students comfortable with using these types of tools um, but also you know this is a really simple object but it was a a, a great way to teach um, the importance of precision like if you're off by an eighth of an inch it's not going to fit together right and you're going to have to do it again so you know, measure twice three times four times and cut once and do it right um, so once we had these, these boards built out of wood, uh, we started to develop graphic concepts, which we discovered very quickly was, uh, we were in over our heads. They, we said on the first day, okay, you know, what do you want your graphic to be? And most of them would draw like a NASCAR symbol or the NC State logo with like a wolf in the corner or, you know, like a Mountain Dew logo. And we were like, okay, you know, <laughs> let's, we need something to generate some form. So we gave them, um, Richard Serra, the sculptor, has this really great list of action verbs, um, rotate, hinge, fold, bend. Um, so we gave them two colors for their bean bags and then one of those words. So I think this was, this word was um, hinge, I think. So this student, you know, drew some white points on his board and then started like hinging these forms of color off of them. So kind of abstract thinking for a 16 year old, but it was a great way to kind of break down what they knew about what graphic design was. And we talked about graphic design in much greater detail, but this was just sort of a way to get them thinking beyond what they knew. So, you know, they have this graphic concept. Um, and we did a little bit of Adobe Illustrator and we use the Creative Suite a lot. Um, so this was their first chance to, to take what they had done by hand, to put it in, into the computer, um, and then to use that software to print it off, uh, to tile it in you know, perfect full scale, uh, lay it out, use this crazy intricate taping method, and then you know, paint again with very, very precise strokes. Um, if they were off, they knew it and they had to go and fix it. Um, so they were paired up based on their, their beanbag colors, and this was, um, weave on the left and stretch on the right and then twist on the left and I think fold 
on the right. So they came out really, really, I think they're beautiful. And you know, this was, they look fairly simple, but for these kids that wanted to start off with the NASCAR logos, we were, we were pretty happy. Um, so really just a boot camp skill building project. Um, we auctioned these off, which was their idea at the beginning, and then when they actually had to let them go, it was like really heartbreaking. Um, but we, we auctioned them off and used that money to fund our next project, which we just finished. Um, this is the second project, so moving up in scale uh, to chicken coops.